say thank you for taking the time to fill out that survey or leaving a comment or um, sending me a private message. It, it meant a lot to me. Uh, kind of gave me a little bit better idea. I've been trying to figure out, you know, directions on where to take the channel, whether I spend a ton of time focusing on just firewood related topics or kind of branch out and, and share a lot of the other stuff that we kind of do around the homestead. And, and uh, it was it was very encouraging and stuff to see a lot of the stuff you guys left and, and some of them definitely gave me a, a pretty good laugh. I wanted to do something a little different today. Uh, many, many, many videos back I did a bow and drill fire. And that's something I learned years ago with a book and spending many hours in my garage, uh, bound and determined to try to figure out how to do that. And there was, there was a pretty steep learning curve. I didn't have anyone to kind of sit over my shoulder and show me how to do that. And um, it definitely wasn't the easiest thing to learn. I came across a video the other day. Well, it's been a little while now and it's been kind of nagging at me. It's something I've wanted to try. I figured I'd come out, turn on the camera and uh, drag you guys along and uh, kind of show you my experiences. There's a channel called uh, David West. He's a guy that's really big into what they call fire rolls and it basically involves a cotton ball pretty much and a piece of you know two pieces of wood and, and you kind of rub that cotton ball back and forth and it's supposed to be the easiest friction fire. There's one time once in my life that I got turned around in the woods and I really thought it was going to be one of those nights that I was going to have to spend time out there but I ended up get, finding my way out. I got pretty lucky there was a, there was a panic moment and uh, just got so turned around in, in that panic moment by the time I finally calmed down and uh, tried to really gain my bearings um, I was I was all all mixed up and eventually made it out but I guess you never know and I'm someone that spends a lot of time out in the woods um, granted this this method you're not gonna wander through the woods and find a 2 by 4 but you know, you can kind of improvise out there, just kind of understand the basics, being able to do something like this. Or maybe you end up stumbling across some old cabin or a house being built or something out in the woods. This could provide an opportunity, um, you know, life or death at times. So it's always fun to get out and try some of these things, test yourself, see if you can do it. And um, that's what I'm going to do today. We'll film it. Hopefully uh, end up with a little success and we'll see what happens. So for the supplies, like I said, got 100% cotton balls. I've got some wood ash that David West guy, I've seen him do it multiple other ways. He's used rust. I think the main reason for it is uh, to create a little bit of friction. And I'm sure there's particles in here that haven't really burned down as well. So they could possibly act as a little bit of a tinder. And then I just got a standard two by four, nothing special. I did end up ripping the sides off of this one just the other day. Cause I was uh, kind of toying with a little experiment here. Um, as many of you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I don't want to say too much. I don't know if I'm going to start this project, but my wife might watch this, and I don't really want her to know that plan. So, you know, just another thought, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, so it might be something to think about or, or get your wheels turning here so you're not uh, like I usually am, and oh, no, i got to get something quick here. So start this off. There's, there's cotton balls, like I said, 100% cotton and the way he did this is he would unroll it see how well this goes basically unroll it and it looked like he always ripped them in half so I'm going to do that so now the next part is he would uh, throw a little bit of um, a little bit of wood ash down on top of it when he um, mentioned it, he said he, did, he I mean there was no real science so you could put a lot you could put a little but um, I'll just be pretty, uh, I guess, I'll, I'll put down plenty of it, I guess. So and then we just roll this thing up. And roll it through the wood ash. I don't know if the type of wood ash that you use makes a difference or not. I mean, we've been kind of blending a mix um, of hard and soft wood right now. It's starting to finally warm up here a little bit, which has been very, very nice. So what he would do is he just take his board and basically start slowly kind of rolling it out. And what it looks like what you're trying to do is try to get this as uniform as possible. All right, let's give this a try. Well, 
glad they go so well. So one thing I noticed real quick, you know, putting this thing way out here in front of me, it seems to, it's a little harder to control. But it seems like when you put your hand more right over the direct, you can apply a little better pressure and get a little better of a roll. You can smell it warm. Let's try this one more time. Out of curiosity, let's try. This, you know, this top's pretty rough and beat up. I mean, this isn't perfect either. We'll just try a little smoother surface ones. Put down just a little bit more wood ash here to be make sure this is not the culprit here. Bigger chunks out of here. All right. I think this is going to be the one. Just shredding that one. All right, one more time. See a dark spot starting to happen there? There we go. If you guys look here, watch. My tinder bundle, it's failing me here. My tinder bundle. So I've got a little bit of jute twine here. You see that's See if I can make a little bit of a bird's nest with this and help myself out. So I have to admit, this has got to be the shortest learning curve I've had with any sort of friction fire. If you're in a survival and haven't experimented with uh, friction fire, this is the place I would start before bow and drill or a lot of those other methods. This um, I really didn't take that much time today. I think I blew through a couple cotton balls. And this is one of those things you can watch and, and, and kind of get a pretty good idea, but you don't really start learning until you do it. You know, the, you start figuring out where to position, you know, the thing under your hand or under the board, how to position your body so you get a nice smooth roll, how much pressure to apply, and, and those just aren't things you can pick up watching. You got to get out and try this. And this was definitely um, something I think anyone could do. I mean, realistically, anyone could do anything if you put your mind to it. But um, this has to be, I think, the easiest friction fire. Granted, you're not going to be out in the woods and finding a two by four or something. But, you know, you could probably find a rock or a couple rocks and, and get the job done or, or maybe, um, you know, split a log in half or something and use it that way. So, anyways, I encourage you to get out and uh, try it yourself. Also, uh, check out David West's channel. Um, I think BC Truck mentioned him when I had, in that last, you know, the, the bow and drill fire that I did. Went over and checked his stuff out. He's just a, a great guy. Um, very talented. Does a lot of fire roll type stuff. A lot of experiments with that. 
He also did one video, I was blown away, he did a bow and drill fire and he actually used paper towels uh, to make the, the rope instead of using like boot laces or paracord. And I have to admit, you know, like I can get the job done, but I'm, I'm not super proficient. There's no doubt in my mind if I was out hunting, got turned around and had to spend the night out there, I could get something done, especially with, you know, just the boot laces off my boot and having a pocket knife uh, go a long ways. And, you know, and maybe you're not a hunter or something, but you could be traveling down some backcountry road or something. I know out here, you know, when we get a good snowstorm coming, people disappear off the roads and it, you break down on the side of a road or something, you might not see someone until the next morning. So, um, pretty fun day, um, fun experiment. I, I think this is a very good um, uh, method of, of friction fire and um, check out David West's channel. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>